irresponsible. If you're tired of hearing me talk about Donald Trump, then, then you know, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. He's going to be president for the next four years. But Donald Trump is so damn irresponsible. He has, without any evidence, without any proof other than the job that Susan Rice had as the national security advisor, he has suggested to the New York Times that she did something wrong. And that he believes that what she did is going to be huge news for the nation and for the world. And so he has piggybacked on a story, yet another story from Breitbart. This is another story from Breitbart that Donald Trump has picked up and now has entered into the mainstream conversation in the United States without any evidence to support it. Other than the fact that Susan Rice was worked, served as the national security advisor. And so he said in his um, in his conversation with The New York Times, he said, quote, I think this is going to be the biggest story. It's such an important story for our country and the world. It's one of the big stories of our time. What Donald Trump, that she had a job and that she did her job. And according to experts, uh, there was there's nothing that indicates any improprietary. I can't even say it. You know what the hell I'm trying to say at this point. Here's the here's the here's the problem that I have with Donald Trump. He has access to the highest level of intelligence. He can get access from basically to anything that falls underneath the executive branch that does not directly involve him personally, but probably can get get information on things that involve him also. But he probably can at least at least get something more reliable than Breitbart and instead of relying on the legion of intelligence professionals that he has at his disposal as the chief executive of the United States of America I mean the entire Department of Justice answers to him and instead of doing that he he, he, he relies on a story from Breitbart and he repeats it into the mainstream, implicating someone who, as far as anyone has concrete evidence, was only doing her job. All right, so a little more detail on, on actually um, what's going on. Um, Susan Rice said on MSNBC, uh, she said the allegation is that somehow the Obama administration officials utilize intelligence for political purposes. And she said, of course, that's absolutely false. We would expect her to deny the allegation. Um, uh, according to um, the Washington Post, the intelligence reports obtained by Rice, who served underneath President Barack Obama from 2013 to 2017, were, quote, summaries of monitored conversations primarily between foreign officials discussing the Trump transition, but also in some cases directly uh, in some cases, direct contact between members of the Trump team and monitored foreign officials. This is something, first of all. Let, let's let's take this in two steps. One, did she do something illegal by requesting these names be unmasked? It's directly in her purview or was in her purview as a national security advisor to make those types of requests. And there is there is a paper trail that the current national security advisor or the Department of Justice can get access to to see if she did it in a way that's consistent with her responsibilities or was it something different? And this is the, again, I said it before, I'll say it again, this is the problem I have. All it would take would be for Donald Trump to request, and I don't know the official language, but to get an audit of her request to have these names unmasked and the paper trail exists and they could analyze that directly to find out if there was something done incorrectly or something done with a political agenda. But instead of doing that, he, he just relies on a story from Breitbart, Mike Cervonich or whatever the hell his name is. This, this suggests to me that he has absolutely no desire to find the truth about what happened. He just wants to use this as a political football, football to deflect from what's going on. And he wants to make this, uh, he wants to make this quote uh, the biggest story. 
It's, a, it's such an important story for our country and the world. It's one of the big stories of our time, but not big enough for Donald Trump to ask his own Department of Justice and his new national security advisor to do an audit of what Susan Rice actually did instead of doing that, which is one phone call away. He relies on Breitbart.com. If you don't see a problem with that, folks, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Um, you know, if, if you I, I don't believe I don't have a source that I believe at face value. Some more or less, some more than others. But Breitbart.com is down there with I don't know. I'm trying to think of a, of a liberal rag that's comparable. The, 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 the Daily News bin or whatever. You know, it, I, I, if I if I read something on Breitbart.com, you better believe I'm going to click back at least three, four links to get back to the original source. And, and usually when you do that, the stories fall apart. And we have a president of the United States who not only doesn't have to go to Breitbart.com to get this information, he could go to his Department of Justice to get this information, but he's not even, he's not even aware enough to click through the links to do some investigation himself. But instead, he irresponsibly puts Susan Rice, who's now a private citizen, on the chopping block of the, of the American community, of the national community. All to deflect from his personal problems, all to deflect from the investigation, the ongoing investigation. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you about that.